Good morning, everybody. Come along for the ride. Let's see what we can get into today. First off, I'd like to say, um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We've gotten a few new subscribers over the last couple weeks, so again, welcome. I appreciate you guys for subscribing. Give me the thumbs up, comment on the videos, um, hit the subscribe button if you're new watching this, be greatly appreciated. Um, what we got going on today is, I kinda need to clean this out of here so I can get the grain cart out. I need to replace the bottom auger of the grain cart. It's getting worn out, chipped, um, worn thin, it's got sharp edges on it. It, it, it's worn out, it needs to be replaced. Um, I don't know if you can see down in there, probably not, it's probably too dark back here in the back corner of the barn. Um, but anyway, it's the auger that runs up and down, that pulls the material out of the grain cart up and then puts it into this auger, which this auger runs it into the truck. Um, this auger is fine. It'll get us by this year and possibly next year, but the bottom auger is what's bad. I need to get that. Uh, I got on their website. Um, it's an easy trail grain cart. I got on their website. Um, they apparently put three different size augers in this particular model. I need to figure out what size I have and get the new one ordered so we can get it here. We're gonna be harvesting, I don't, I'm guessing three weeks before we start harvesting, but mother nature can dictate that for us in a big hurry. But regardless, I need to get that auger replaced and then we can move on with harvest. The head is, combine's ready to go, the head's ready to go. Um, the only thing I need to do to the head is there's yellow poly pieces underneath there that the plates run on the ground. I need to get probably six of those replaced, which I think I have three of them here. So I need to go order three of those. But other than that, the head is good to go. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on. I need to move this stuff out of the way. Hoping everything starts. It's been sitting here all summer and then we can go from there. Okay, uh, I got the green card out to where I can work on it. The neighbors are getting landscaping done, so you're probably gonna hear motors running in the background, things like that. Um, I did not clean all of the wheat out of this grain cart um, for a reason. I was going to wait because we're gonna plant wheat as a cover crop in some of our fields to stop soil erosion and things like that. Um, and I was gonna add this, this stuff here is basically a year from certified wheat. Um, so I was just, whatever was left in the bottom and that's because the auger, that auger right there is so worn out, this is what's left in the bottom of the grain cart because it just wouldn't go through. The auger has gotten so small for the tube that that little bit doesn't run through. Um, so, like I said, we're going to get this cleaned out. Then I can get a measurement on this auger and get one ordered and get it coming as soon as possible. But I have to get a broom and get inside there and get her swept up. Okay, uh, I found out I needed an 81 inch, 81 inch auger. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Um, so I went up to the house, got online, got it ordered. It's coming. Who knows when it'll get here? It's coming out of Arthur, Illinois. Um, so yeah. And now I have this pile of old wheat I need to get cleaned up. <clears throat> What I'm gonna do is we have about 30 bags of wheat seed right here. That is, this stuff is actually two years old. Um, so they were unable to sell it because of how old it was. The germination rate is way down on it. So we got it for free. 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to plant it as a cover crop just to help get prevent soil erosion throughout the winter and everything. And then in the spring, we'll just spray it, kill it off, plow it under, and go and plant our soybeans. I'm going to scoop this pile of mess up and throw it in a bag and then we'll add it to that. We'll, all we're going to do is we're going to get a fertilizer spreader and put all these bags in the fertilizer spreader and go spread the wheat as a cover crop. So I don't have to worry about the chunks of moldy stuff in this pile because it'll just go right through the spreader versus trying to clean that out and run it through the planters. And I, I wouldn't even run that through our planters. That would just get thrown out for the animals to eat. I guess the first thing I need to do is find a bag to put those in. I know we've got some burlap sacks around here somewhere. Oh, I found them. These will work. So I'm going to get this scooped up, get it cleaned up, put in these bags, um, and then I'm probably just going to set them next to that pallet of wheat because that's going to get all spread this fall anyway once the beans come off. But once I get this mess cleaned up, then I can get this backed into the barn again um, and go to the John Deere dealer and get that poly ordered. Just like that. The mess is cleaned up. I'm not like these other YouTube guys that can just snap their fingers and it disappears. I, I've tried it and it doesn't work. Um, I did put them in a couple bags. Got them sitting on top of the this wheat seed here now. Uh, I put some penetrating oil on the bolts for that auger because I know that's going to be a problem when the new auger gets in to take that off. So I squirted that with some penetrating oil, let that soak for a few days while we're waiting for the auger to come in. Uh, now I think I'm going to take that and back it back into that opening back there for now. Just to get it put back in the barn and probably pack everything else in here as well while I'm doing it. At some point here in the very near future, I need to get this big guy out and get the chisel plow pulled out of the weeds, get the points flipped on the chisel plow, get it greased, get it hooked up to the tractor so we can chisel plow some wheat stubble ground. Um, the problem we're having is we haven't had any rain. So the ground is so hard. It is like concrete right now. Um, we're kind of waiting to see if we can get a little bit of spritz of rain to kind of soften the soil up before we go plow. That way it's less wear and tear on um, the plow points. We don't wear as bad. And it's also a little easier on the tractor fuel economy wise to pull a plow in softer soil versus the harder soil. So that's what we're waiting on a little bit of a rain so we can go do that. There you go. Everything's back, back in the barn. Um, this center section of the barn here, you can see where the big tractor and the combine is and the sprayer is and the planter. This center section, we like to leave open during harvest because we back the semis in here hooked up and everything. So we need, we need the space to get two semis side by side in here. Um, the grain cart will be out of here. The combine will be out of here. The big tractor will be out of here. So the little tractor with the loader will put over on this side. That way it leaves the center of the barn open for um, pulling in semis and stuff like that at night and things like that. I need to now find the piece of poly uh, right here. This is the piece of poly I need for the head. Um, like I said, I have two or three of these, um, but I need six of them total. So I need to get the part number off of here so I can go and order um, I'm probably going to order six because I like to have a few of these laying around because 
you know, you hit a big rock or something, it gets ripped off, they wear out, things like that. I have some on, on the shelf to replace. Um, specific items for the combine, you always want to have extra sitting on the shelf because I will guarantee you it will only break Saturday night or Sunday when none of the dealers are open. So it's always good to have extra wear and tear parts laying around so you have them when they break down on Saturday afternoon or Sunday when nobody's open until Monday. All right, I have the part number I need. So now I am going to, I'm gonna probably just go grab some lunch while I'm out ordering these parts. That way I have them. Look at that. It just dawned on me. Look at the trees are turning colors already. Garbage. That means falls near, which means winter's near, which means we're going to have all that garbage falling from the sky. Ugh. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy fall. I enjoy harvest season. I love running the equipment, farming, and everything. I even enjoy riding the motorcycle on a nice fall day. I just hate what comes in between fall and spring that season there you guys know what I'm talking about I hate that season absolutely hate it all right let's go order some parts look at that the local John Deere dealer had them and the best part is I did not have my credit card with me and they said don't worry about it we know you're in here a lot you can just pay us on the next time what other industry can you can still buy stuff on just a handshake? The agricultural community is just awesome. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Um, we are going to Stockbridge for All Clubs Day on Sunday. So if you guys are gonna be there, love to meet you. Um, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.